I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and I'm glad to be able to share a few moments with you today, just considering an important spiritual principle from God's Word. We've spent some days, some mornings, in the Sermon on the Mount, the Lord's narrative, in Matthew chapter 5, chapter 6, and chapter 7, and we've gotten to chapter 7 and have considered a few verses of Scripture already in that chapter, and I'd like for, for us to consider a, a principle that's maybe a little bit avoided in the minds of some people just because it seems to be rather extreme. In Matthew chapter 7, verse 6, Jesus said, Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet, and turn again and rend you. Matthew chapter 7, verse 6. And I believe what this is talking about is just simply being discriminate, somewhat discriminating with truth, with the truth of the gospel, especially in sharing it with people who have no interest and who are extremely insulting and who are inclined to reject truth and treat it with disdain. You know, we see Christ in Matthew, Mark, and Luke sending out his disciples to preach the gospel in, very, in, in different towns and villages across the region. And he said, basically, if they won't hear you, if they refuse you, well, then you shake the dust off your feet and go somewhere else. And he stated this in Matthew chapter 10, verse 14. Whosoever shall not receive you nor hear your words when you depart out of that house or city, shake off the dust of your feet. And again in Mark chapter 6, he said something very similar to that in reference to the preaching of the gospel in various different places. Whosoever shall not receive you nor hear you when you depart, shake off the dust un under your feet for a testimony against them. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. And again, he spoke in Luke chapter 9, verse 5, and said, Whosoever will not receive you when you go in out of that city, shake off the very dust from your feet for a testimony against them. And so this principle is repeated a number of times in the Gospels when Christ was sending out his people to preach the gospel to others. And I think it has to do with the spirit with which the truth is received. If it's obvious that this is true, that this is God's work, and people just blatantly refuse to receive it, the Lord said, just go on your way. And he stated it more distinctly in Matthew chapter 7, where he said, don't give the holy things uh, to dogs, Lest they, lest they be like swine who trample the truth under their feet, the pearls of truth under their feet. And, and he said a little bit later on in one of the gospel texts we've read that it'll be more tolerable for the people of Sodom and Gomorrah than for those people in that day. And he's talking about people who, who rejected truth on purpose, not because they didn't understand it, not because they didn't see it, but they saw it. And they full well knowing what they were doing, rejected the truth. And the Lord said, that's a serious thing. Perhaps you remember in the Gospel of Matthew that Christ spoke of a sin that could never be forgiven unto men. And this was right after in Matthew chapter 11 and finally in chapter 12, when the people who were following him, the religious Jews, accused him of doing what he was doing by the power of Satan, by the power of Beelzebub. And this was just blatant unbelief and rejection on their part. They knew, they knew that this was a work that only God could do. They knew that Jesus Christ was of God and they could not challenge anything that he was saying. And so they attacked his character. And the Lord said that kind of rejection, that kind of unbelief will never be remedied. There's no hope for people who are that staunch in their unbelief. And so we pray that we won't run up against people like that and that people will be sensitive and responsive to truth. But in case someone is very hateful and flagrant in their rejection of truth, just remember what Jesus said. Don't be discouraged. Just go on to somebody else and witness to someone 
who perhaps will listen and somebody who will be affected by the gospel. So be encouraged. God still has work to do in many hearts and he can use his child to reach those people for the Lord. Just don't end up spending time needlessly or wastefully talking to people who have no intention of believing the truth, who maybe only listen for the sake of having the time to develop another argument and reason in their mind why they will not believe. God loves you and he loves those who need him and he wants to give them the chance to be saved. What a blessing that he's put us in this world so we can reach out to others. Reach out to somebody today. God bless you today.